Well, with gas prices slowly but steadily receding over the last few weeks and hopes that inflation may have already peaked, you might think the White House maybe was hopeful for today's CPI numbers. Well, really, they're not. Uh, and here's why. Take a look. Uh, over the last 12 months, the all items index increased 9.1 percent before seasonal adjustment. The adjusted consumer price index increased 1.4 percent in June, seasonally adjusted to 1.3 percent after rising already a point in May, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. While President Biden's aides have aggressively downplayed expectations for today's consumer price index release because, well, they say of technical factors and how CPI measures things like gas prices. Prices. Quote, June CPI data is already out of date, said White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre on Monday. Today's national average for a gallon of gas still $4.63. That's down from an historic high of 5 bucks a month ago. But still, the White House expected today's anticipated headline number to be elevated because of, quote, backwards-looking data that won't account for the price drops in recent weeks. Well, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says a recession is not imminent, and the White House would, that, would rather Americans focus on key indicators such as last week's better-than-expected jobs report. But with the Fed likely to raise interest rates yet again later this month and high inflation continuing to increase the cost of everything consumers buy, many remain deeply uneasy about the economy and the prospect of a looming recession less than four months out from the midterm elections. But the more this administration keeps telling people that a recession isn't inevitable, of course it is. Look, gas prices might come down a little bit, and that's wonderful. Home heating oil prices are still going to be at, at record rates this winter. And just having people in their homes, uh, elderly couple, folks on fixed incomes, low-income families, just to heat their homes this winter, that fuel crisis has yet to rear its ugly head. But believe you me, it is coming. And that reality is, is going to come to bear uh, at the toughest times, right? We have high energy prices now, cost twice as much to fill your gas tank, it costs about twice as much to create baseload generation, uh, and all of that really comes to bear, and it's not going away anytime soon. And more bad news coming from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics this morning. Seasonally adjusted hourly earnings for all employees decreased 1% in June. All of the numbers trending in the wrong direction for Joe Biden's White House. Guys? Indeed, Mike Carter in New York with the very latest. Mike, thank you.